Dude, they're, they're freaking motoring. <laughs> I think we're gonna feed them. Do they? Do you think the kids have been feeding them? Dude, I'm like backpedaling out of here. I'm like, get those things will give us a beat down. Oh boy, did we have a good day today. Me and Pat went out this morning. We went on the boat and we didn't catch anything for like two and a half, three hours. And uh, we were totally disappointed. And we went to a secondary pond before we gave up for the day and we kind of killed it. Um, I wouldn't say like killed it, killed it, but three or four fish each. The other odd thing that happened to me this morning before we went out in the boat, I did the old fish the docks before you go out, even though there were no docks. But I mean, I was fishing the area we were putting in and I just had this new chatterbait that Pat turned me on to. It's not that new. I think a lot of people know about these chatterbaits. I'm just too cheap and uh, didn't want to buy these yet, but I bought one and today it really paid off. But anyway, before we went out in the boat, I caught a pretty big donkey. It was like three pounds before we even got into the boat. That was crazy. Uh, didn't have my GoPro running. Was just sitting there talking to Pat while he was getting geared up and I landed a fish. So I have the catch, you know, in hand fish on video, but I don't actually have the fish catch, you know, when I hooked up to it. But anyway, um, I would just say this when you're fishing and you've been fishing all day or, you know, for four hours or three hours, and it's pretty much the limit of what you're willing to do to catch fish that day. Put in that extra hour because that's usually when it pays off. I think every time I've done that, it's paid off. Even today, Pat was like getting ready to leave the pond. He said, I'm just going to go run this bank real quick. Uh, last couple of casts, and then we'll walk out of here. And he landed a huge fish. So the bait I want to talk to you today about is the Z-Man Jackhammer. It's a chatterbait. And I don't know if you guys know what a chatterbait is, but basically a chatterbait, here, I'll show you here in the ca other camera. A chatterbait is a bladed jig, and it has kind of a lead head affixed to the bladed jig, and it kind of wobbles and chatters as it moves through the water. Um, this particular chatterbait's kind of renowned. It has a very quick response, meaning as soon as that thing hits the water and you start reeling on it, it's moving and giving you action. And it's got an outstanding hook, very sharp. And I put on here what they call the Hog Farmer um, Spunk Shad. Let me show you what that looks like. Look at this trailer. This thing's awesome. And look at the action on it. I mean, it really gives you a lot of kick. So when this thing's going through the water, this was the color today. This thing worked perfect. Uh, when this thing was going through the water, it's got a little bit of a glow in that white section and it's got some salt and pepper black. And I mean, look at that tail. When that thing's going through the water chattering, I mean, it literally kind of looks like that as it's moving through the water. And I've never been a chatterbait fan. I've never been a real big spinnerbait fan. I fish them both. I catch fish on both of them, but I just, they're never really something that I grab out of my box and say, I got to fish this bait because I love it. After today, that might be different. I ordered three or four of these. These are very expensive. And I do understand if people put in the comments that I'm crazy for buying these for this much money, I understand completely. And honestly, I don't think that I would have bought these had it not been for Pat. Um, him and I were driving home today. We got on the phone talking about the fishing day afterwards. And he said, you know, I might be wrong on this, but he's like, I really like and think expensive baits sometimes bring that little bit of extra quality that gives you that extra something to catch the fish. And I know there's simple baits out there. There's pop bars and there's jitter bugs and there's basic baits that are three, $4 and square bills like the, uh, uh, square a or something like that. Those baits are tried and true. They're very inexpensive and they're awesome. But sometimes these mega bass, uh, the Z man jackhammers, the war Eagle spinner baits, these expensive baits, for some reason, they just have that little extra sauce in it, and it actually works. If you want to try something a little expensive, but it might pay off, grab one of these Z-Man jackhammers, get you a pack of these um, hog farmer trailers, whether the Spunk Shad or uh, Pumpkin Green, whatever variety works in your area, neck of the woods. Try these things, man. They actually do work. And keep throwing them. And I would say fish through the slow. 
you get through that slow spot, you get through that like downer feeling, you're a little bit hungry, you haven't had much to eat that morning, you've been thrown and thrown and thrown, you've tried every bait there is, sometimes you just got to stop changing baits and just keep throwing the one bait that you have. Try a different retrieve, try a different location, try a different depth, try something different with the same bait. Because I know that these fish, it's spring, it's pre-spawn, they're eating, they're eating fish, they're eating shad. So I'm like, I, they have to eat a fish presentation. They, they got to be going for this right now. And I just couldn't get them to take. And then finally, I started getting a pattern and a feel for this chatterbait. And man, I love it. So I have a few of these coming. I'll review some more colors when they come in. Uh, but this one, take one more close look. This is the Z-Man Jackhammer Chatterbait. This is something that I would highly recommend and tell you guys to try on your next outing. This is a simple silver, with a little silver head. It's got um, kind of a, a white, but a little bit of a fluorescent glow to this white. And salt and pepper back here. Nice big giant hook. This is the 3 8 ounce. So it's not a real giant heavy thing, but it casts a mile. Let me tell you, these hog farmer trailers, these are the tickets, man. When that thing goes to the water, it literally looks like a fish just swimming away. And they were getting nailed today. Had to say it was a good day. Hope you guys had a good weekend as well. I'm going to share with you all my catches. You guys take care. I'll see you soon. And we will be fishing a lot in the coming months because I don't think I'm going to be able to do a whole lot more other than go to work, come home, sit in my house, quarantined, and then sneak out and go fishing every now and then. You guys hang in there. Be safe. Hopefully this will all pass and we'll get through this. Um, I'm tired of talking about it. I'm sure you are too. You're probably here watching fishing videos to get away from it. So let's just look at the fishing videos. Talk to you later. Bye. Right here at the bank, and a good one at that. Oh, he got off. Oh, he swam up on the shore. <laughs> that is so funny. Look at this dog, man. Yeah, he's a good fish. <laughs> he literally came off right here yeah. and then took off up to the shore, and I just kicked him onto the shore. That's a catch, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a good fish. fish. Got him. Decent fish. Right through the cheek. first thought maybe he was coming towards me eh, you know pounder all right so two pounds two and a quarter oh yeah he hooked it good wow Standing here at the dock. Look at that fat, girthy, beautiful fish. So I'm standing here, guys, with the jackhammer. It's got the Spunk Shad trailer, the brand new jackhammer, just cruising it back and forth and uh, waiting for Pat to gear up, get in the boat. And look at that tank. That's a great way to start the day. Look at that, man. Look at this bad boy. Yeah, that's that's awesome right there. He's eating too. He's got a belly. Dude. Finally. Pat! Woohoo! Finally! We fished all day! Jesus! And that's what I've been waiting for all day. Jeez Louise! It's pretty solid for here. I don't think we've caught much anything bigger than that here. He's got a big old hump on his head. Yeah, that's a good fish, dude. He catch you on a frog. You bite frogs in the spring. The yeah, spring. no kidding. Ooh. 
Oh, that felt suspicious. Very fishy. Back up through there one more time. Good fish. Yeah, he was the one that hit me earlier. Oops, sorry buddy, I went right through your bottom lip with my thumb. Good fish. Not bad. That's what we're doing. So Pat and I were boating this morning, trying to catch fish. And we didn't catch any, or many said let's go to this little small pond we fished this one before in a boat usually it has a bunch of reed grass Please be recording. Yep. a bunch of reed grass and um, they cut it all down so I said shoot why don't we just walk it <laughs> number two Little guy. So I cut a couple in this little transition water the other day. Hopefully I don't fall in. Good thing we decided to walk the backside. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful, don't fall in. Don't fall in. I think I got him. Yeah, he's mine. Look at that guy. Look at that dude. Look, look how I got him. Look how I got that guy. That's a, that's almost, that's a two and a half. Look at that guy, man. Wow. Look at that fat boy. Picture time. Holy moly. That's a good one, man. Oh, that's above average. <laughs> Look at that. Holy four pound bass. Not quite that big. All right, let's call him an honest three. Oh no, man. Here, hold him up. You got to get a photo with that one. That's freaking. There you go. Barely. Sweet. Dude, those are the kind you want in the springtime, man. Are you kidding me, man? Look at that. Isn't that just a beautiful fish? Just good looking fish, man. Oh, gosh. Where'd he come from? He's getting ready to lay it. Look how fat I know, I know. Yeah, boy. We're going to be back to Ashburn, no worry.